Hey, uh, Devin, uh, congratulations on uh, coming over here. I wanted to ask you, uh, personally and professionally, what made you comfortable with leaving Minnesota for San Jose? Yeah, it's been a it's been a stressful week, obviously, when you when you find out. Um, but you know, with the uh, conversations that I've had, um, mainly with uh, with Doug and the staff, um, you know, and, and also just hearing from from anybody who's um, who's been involved with the Sharks, um, just hear nothing but good things. And uh, you know, the more we spoke with Doug and and um, other people, that the, the more comfortable we were, and realized that this is a extremely exciting opportunity with a with a great organization. And so, uh, you know, the further this, this went down the road, the more excited we got about it. And, uh, you know, to this day, we were certainly antsy, uh, waiting for it to be, uh, official today. Um, but we're, we're very, very excited about it. Thanks, uh, Kevin. Yeah. Hi, Devin. Uh, it's Kevin Kurz, the athletic, um, w wanted to ask you, obviously last season, what was, was a difficult season, on and off the ice. I know you were going through some, some personal stuff too. How, how much did that play a role in, in, uh, in your numbers and how confident are you that you can, you know, sort of return to form to what you did earlier in your career in Minnesota? Yeah, it was, uh, it was extremely difficult for, for many reasons. You know, a lot of it was, was public, but um, you know, it was, a, it, it's something that uh, I had to go through, unfortunately, but fortunately everybody's okay. And, and uh, we've had a chance to, to reset and get things back to normal. So, um, you know, I, I was excited uh, coming back from the from the from the pause uh, to go into playoffs. I felt like I I was able to kind of have a, a bit more of a clear mind and and uh, get back to to the way I was feeling. Unfortunately, didn't get a chance to play, but um, it was nice to to go back and do training camp and and you know play the play the half a exhibition game and just feel feel like I was back to myself and and uh, with a clear head and and uh, just allowing plays to come to me seeing the puck just relaxing and, and trusting myself and I certainly uh you know was uh, was battling uh, questions all year about it but um I know for a fact I I certainly didn't forget how to stop the puck and, and I got a ton of confidence that uh that that I can get my game back uh and and even above where it was so I think this is a this is a good chance with it with a really good hockey team to to do that thanks uh Curtis Pichalka. Good afternoon, Devin. Um, have you spoken with Evgeny Nabokov at all? And and uh, are there certain things maybe you're looking forward to to working with him on uh, over the next few months before you uh, before the season starts? Uh, yeah, I did have a really good conversation with Nabby, and and it's nice. Um, you know, I've known him for a few years now, so there's a lot of a lot of familiarity there. Um, you know, played a lot of games uh, against the Sharks, so um, you know he's seen me play a lot, and and I'm excited to. Uh, you know, to, to get a new set of hands on me to, to uh, you know, tweak some things and just sharpen up different things that that, that need to uh, to happen to, for, to take that next step. And um, again, it's nice to have that uh, that familiarity there uh, with somebody who knows me well, both as a person and a goalie. And uh, I think that's that's another another part of it that that just has me uh, feeling very excited about this opportunity. Uh, Shane Peng. Uh, hey, uh, Devin, you're coming into a situation with uh, already established number one goalie in Martin Jones. Uh, so what's the secret be, uh, for two guys who, you know, maybe playing a little bit less than they're accustomed to, you know, working together uh, next year? I've always I've always looked at it as being extremely important to to have a close relationship with your goalie partner, regardless if you're if you're if you're backing up, starting if you're splitting games, um, you know, it's a it's a difficult position it's a difficult league to play in obviously it's the best in the world and and I think it's extremely important to uh to have the support of of your partner um and I think that uh this is a great opportunity for both of us to kind of latch on to each other and, and uh and get better together both of us um you know I think I don't want to speak for him but I'm sure he's excited to get into this year as well and and uh and push me and and uh and battle for starts but I think the most important thing is is to support one another, and you know, there's only there's only one other guy in the dressing room that understands what it's like to be uh, to be in the net, and uh, and it's important that uh, that you're positive with each other and supporting each other, and and uh, just trying to outdo each other each game, but in a positive way. Uh, just as a follow up, do you have any prior relationship with Martin? Uh, no, I just uh, I, I met him um, I met him at the All Star game in uh, in LA, and 
you know, uh, obviously just being one of the goalies there, you, you chat with him uh, on the days and, and uh, seemed like a really calm, really good guy. And, um, you know, looking forward to, to getting to know him more. Uh, Kevin Kurz. Yeah, Ryan, I wanted to talk to you about this opportunity. Um, first of all, I, I'm just curious how much right wing you've played in your NHL career, because, you know, that's really the, the spot on the Sharks that, that seems to be, you know, open right now. Um, just looking at the depth chart. And, and then, you know, how, how do you view this as a chance just for yourself as someone who could potentially get more ice time and play a bigger role than, he, than, than you have so far with Boston and Minnesota? Yeah, uh, I mean, I have experience. Uh, I played a couple games at, at right wing and center uh, and left wing. Uh, I, I'm pretty comfortable playing uh, any position. Um, I just think it's, uh, it's, it's about opportunity uh, and earning that. And there was things that I had to learn, and there's still things that I am learning. Uh, so for me, uh, I'm just coming in with an, an open mind and open attitude. And uh, I know I could play all three positions and, and up in the lineup and, and earn those minutes. And I want to be a guy that earns those minutes too. So uh, for me, it's just about – coming with a positive attitude and showing that I can do it. Really quick, just um, want to see if uh, anyone has any more questions for Devin uh, before we uh, turn him loose here. Yeah, I had one, Ben. Okay, go ahead, Chris. Yeah, Devin, um, San Jose was not one of the teams you had on, on your no trade list. Is that, is that because it, you felt that this was a, could be an opportunity to, to come in and, and play a lot of games and what, could be kind of a compressed schedule next year um not sure i mean the 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 list is uh you know when it's asked for it's the it's the previous season so i mean i was kind of creating lists obviously entering the season uh you know was feeling feeling confident about uh about a good good season and certainly wasn't um thinking about being traded as uh as an option or or something that uh, that i would want to happen but uh, you know, as this as this has played out here, and, and I realized that, that you know most likely there was going to be a change of scenery. Um, you know, it's a it's a no brainer. That's why that's why they weren't on the list to begin with. Uh, is that they uh, you know it's a who who wouldn't want to come play for a team that uh, that's been as successful as they have have you know so many great players and and uh, you know not a not a terrible place to live either. So. Um, you know, very excited. And, and like I said, that's, uh, that's originally the reason that, uh, that they weren't on there. Did Al Stalock have some good things to say about uh, his old team too? Or? Yes. Al loves it. We always, uh, we love to give Al a hard time every time we were going to San Jose that we, we joke with him that, uh, that he still wishes he was part of the Sharks. So um, I was, uh, that was certainly when uh, I thought of that actually, and, and no, and I haven't spoken to, uh, to one person that hasn't just had had uh, great things to say about the city, but also great things to say about uh, about everybody in the organization, and and uh, certainly is, has shown that in the in the short period of time and, and dialogue that I've uh, that I've had. All right. Well, thanks there, Devin. Uh, we'll uh, let you get out here, but I appreciate it, and uh, we'll uh, open it up to Ryan, questions for Ryan again. All right. Thanks, guys. See you, Dewey. See you guys. Uh, Shane, go ahead. Hey, uh, welcome, uh, Ryan. Uh, this year in Minnesota, you scored a lot of goals in limited ice time. Uh, was it, you know, a little bit frustrating maybe to not get uh, as much uh, ice time as you may have wanted there? Yeah, I mean, I think it is frustrating, but um, I'm not the kind of guy to put the blame on anyone else but me. Um, I know I created in the amount of ice time that I uh, that I received, but but for me, uh, I kind of. I put everything on myself. I want to be a guy that can uh, do it no matter what uh, the situation I'm put in. And um, I did have a, a decent amount of goals for the amount of ice time that I had, but I knew I could have more and I know I can have more. So for me, uh, seeing uh, potential opportunity is, uh, is very, uh, makes me very excited. Kevin Curse. Yeah, Ryan, I, I just want to know, first of all, do, do you have any prior relationships with anyone in the organization? And, and then second question is, um, you know, what do you think you have to do to earn more ice time? I know we, we hear a lot about your shot and your goal scoring ability, but, but what other parts of your game would you like to maybe keep evolving here as you move forward? Yeah, I, ha I have some uh, 
affiliation from with Berkey and uh, Yandel and some of those other guys uh, just from being uh, from Boston. But uh, some of the aspects that uh, I would like to develop is just uh, some get, I, for some reason, I want to be a guy that uh, not for some reason, but I want to be a guy that uh, is, a, is a 200 foot player and, and is not just a, a guy that creates offense. I want to be a guy that is an offensive threat and also is just as good at defense as he is offense. And I think uh, with the coaching staff and, and management and the players, uh, I think it, San Jose is a great place to do it. And uh, I'm excited to see what I can do. Yeah, Curtis Pichalka. Hey, Ryan. Yeah, just going off that question, that's obviously the Sharps are going to be one uh, or a team that's going to want to play a tighter game, you know, play a more structured game. Have you, sp have you spoken with Bob Bugner at all about maybe what your role could be going forward here? Um, I did chat with him a little bit today. Um, it was a little bit brief, but we were just catching up, uh, getting to know each other a little bit. Um, but I think it, uh, it's something that uh, we'll see what happens. I know he uh, thinks of me as an offensive guy and a guy that will play and, uh, and get offensive minutes. And, and hearing that, that gets me really excited. It, it boosts my confidence for sure. And, um, and for me, I want to be a guy that not only can get power play time and, and, uh, and score goals, but also be a guy that can kill penalties and, and play in those defensive situations because I have in the past and um, and I hope that they know that. And I think that they know that uh, in my talking to them. And, uh, yeah, in, in our brief conversations and the one conversation we've had so far, that's, that's basically all we talked about. Shang Ping. Uh, Ryan, uh, your uh, dad, of course, uh, played with uh, Joe Thornton uh, twice. Uh, do you have any memories of Joe? And also, what has your dad said about this trade? Um, I do have some memories of Joe. I think that picture from when I was a little kid, obviously that's something that I've uh, held pretty close to me, uh, being a, a big fan of Joe growing up and, and kind of idolizing him. And obviously my dad had uh, such a respect for him. So uh, I always was uh, watching him whenever I got the chance and, and followed him uh, pretty uh, strictly throughout his uh, entire career. Um, what was the second half of the question? Sorry. Oh, just uh, your uh, dad's reaction uh, to you coming to San Jose. Yeah, um, I think my dad was excited. Um, I think he he knows um, the league's all about opportunity, and uh, and he knows I'm a hockey player at heart. I, I'm a guy that uh, wants to play, and uh, I'm a I'm a hockey uh, rink rat. And uh, for me, uh, it, it's all about uh, getting the opportunity to do that and do the things that I love to do uh, ever since I've been a kid. So I think he's excited about the new opportunity, and I'm I'm sure he's excited that there's a, a couple of really nice golf courses in San Jose as well. Curtis Pashalka. Um, how do you kind of spend the next few months now? Obviously, we don't quite know when uh, training camp is going to start. I mean, it could be November, it could be December, but how do you kind of plan to spend the next uh, next few months here, next couple months here? Um, for me, I'm just going to train uh, as hard as I ever have and, and skate uh, and get ready for the season. Obviously, there's no set date or really an idea of, or there's, I, I don't know when obviously the season's going to start, but for me, I just got to come in uh, and, and be ready physically, uh, mentally. So I'm going to do everything I can to make sure my confidence going in there uh, is really high and, um, and show that I, I have a strong work ethic by the work that I put in this summer in the gym and, and on the ice. So for me, that's, that's pretty much my focus until uh, training camp, whenever that is. Uh, you know, I know you don't want to speak for, for Devin, but do you get the sense that he's, he's got something to prove? to after kind of some struggles last year? Yeah, I mean, Devin, Devin's a very competitive guy. Um, I think that uh, obviously some of the things that happened last season uh, were unfortunate. And I think he was a very uh, great team player and dealt with it the right way. Um, obviously those probably uh, had a little bit more of an impact on him than a lot of people understand for people. Um, and, I, and I totally see that side of it. Um, but for me, uh, I do think Devin, is a very, very competitive guy and will come in with that edge and, and willingness to compete uh, and to get ready uh, for a good start of the season. And I'm excited to see what he can do. Shang Peng. Uh, Ryan, you mentioned the relationship with Tim Burke and Mike Yandel. Uh, did you think that the Sharks might draft you in 2014 when, you know, your draft year? Um, yeah. I mean, it's so long ago now thinking back to it, but I mean, I always think there's a, there's a chance with every team as a young kid with a lot of hopes. You always, um, 
hope the best uh, and hope that teams think the best of you. Um, obviously, knowing that there was a couple of guys uh, from my neck of the woods and and guys I always saw growing up around the rinks and, and have uh, family connections to and, and that type of stuff. It's uh, it's definitely always it crossed my mind when I was young, but at that point I was ready to play for anybody. So, and, and, and that was kind of the case when I was uh, entering the draft and uh, I always thought there was a chance, but now I get that opportunity.